Stargazers could soon have the chance to see one of the most impressive meteor showers of the year set to peak over the weekend. Joining me now is Associate Professor Devika Kamath, who is an astrophysicist at Macquarie University. Thanks for your time this afternoon. Uh, for anyone new to this, um, explain to us what's going to be so special this weekend. Yeah, so we're going to have one of the most spectacular meteor showers, um, particularly because meteor showers come in many flavors. And the one we're seeing is the Geminids meteor shower. And it's going to be a very stable, very colorful display should we get to see it. Um, and the, and the, the concept behind it is there's a lot of debris in space. And I'm talking about centimeter to millimeter sized particles that come from a comet or an asteroid that's sort of you know just orbiting in space uh, when the earth sort of passes through this debris some of this debris gets pulled into the earth's atmosphere and because of friction it kind of uh, uh, burns and ablates and that's what you see as a meteor shower or commonly what we call as a shooting star um, so what's going to be happening in fact for a lot of december but peaking uh, some time around this weekend is the Geminids meteor shower. So depending on where you are, you'd probably able to see some colorful fireworks in the sky. Amazing. So it's set to peak this weekend. So December 13 and 14. Where should people be? Is there anywhere specifically in Australia yeah. that's the best spot to be or prime seats? Yeah, look, Australia is not going to have the most favorable view. We'll still have a really good view, but it's going to be uh, relatively b because the, the 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 point in the sky where the meteors are going to originate from sits in the Gemini constellation, which is why it has the name Geminids. And this constellation is going to be relatively low in the horizon. So I'm talking about 20 to 25 degrees from the horizon. So if you're in Australia, what you probably want to do is head out somewhere in the after midnight to a really dark spot anywhere which where you can see the horizon and see relatively lower parts of the sky and um look north to northeast where you'll find the gemini constellation if you don't know where the gemini constellation is just use an app on your phone and, and look for it and um, look towards north northeast direction is what i'd say lay back and and just wait for your eyes to accustom to a dark sky. And um, you're, if you're lucky, you'll get to see these colourful uh, display of meteor showers. I was just about to ask you, how do we know, do we need any special equipment or any simple tips to make sure that you don't miss this? Where will you be watching it from? Yeah, look, I think for the meteor showers, you actually don't want to have a telescope or a binocular because it's going to obstruct your view. What you want to have is the nice view of the entire sky because they can erupt anywhere. So they're not really going to be only towards the Gemini constellation. That's where they peak on, but that they could they could be anywhere in the sky. So I normally like to go to um, like the Kurung Rai National Park in Sydney, where I have some uh, vantage points where I can look towards the northern sky and the northeastern directions and just lay back on a rock and then just um, wait to see what happens. However, it's looking a little bit wet in Sydney, so I'm not very sure about what we're going to be able to see in Sydney, but there's other parts of Australia that's going to have spectacular weather and I'm going to be hoping that some of you get to see it. <laughs> Me too. And you know what? I love these stories because we all need a little bit of this kind of magic, especially around this time of Christmas. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate your time.